you, you, Alpha, you've joined us late, but as you heard, uh, uh, the data clearly says that women are uh, not only underrepresented when it comes to actually in the media, they're also not working enough. I mean, they're not enough women in them. But uh, digital media seems digital media seems to be um, uh, making it a little better for women uh, since you you have you are with the wire. Um, is there any particular reason why there is uh, more representation of women in the digital media? I mean, the more I I feel because in general, digital media is more democratic, more liberal. And that is why you see more inclusivity. Like I will give you an example of the wire and how it is structured. We are barely 35, 40 people. Um, our bureau chief is a woman, not just a woman. She comes from the northeastern part oh. of India. Our uh, audience um, uh, director is a woman. Um, that too, she's come from a religious minority. I'm adding this just to say that yeah. when we say women, it yeah. should not just be upper caste yeah. Hindu women. Yeah. So, and then uh, third, um, there is yet another woman who heads our desk. I head the wires multimedia department. So I would say out of, let's say six people, six head of the departments for our women. Uh, just to add to that, even News Minute, they have their editor in chief as woman. Uh, so I think in general, um, uh, digital media is more democratic, more defined. It comes with better ideas. And that is why you find not just um, more issues related to people from the marginalized communities, but more acceptance of people from the marginalized communities in the newsroom. Because remember, this is where it starts. Yeah. yeah. Is it then our case? I'm just thinking aloud. Is it then our case that we need to have more women to have more women's issues? We need to have more Muslim women to write more. About? It shouldn't be, should it? I would say representation matters. Yes, it does. I, my experience of working in newsrooms for the past 20 plus years, yes. uh, it, it, I mean, I would maybe would argue that it shouldn't be the case, but I do feel whoever, wherever you're coming from, you bring that, that sure. body, um, body of experience with you, you sure. and also uh, the perspectives. Yes. Like I am a small town girl. I am from Uttar Pradesh. So my point of view is of a woman from a small town. Um, maybe my point of view will be very different from somebody who was raised in, let's say, Mumbai or Calcutta uh, in cosmopolitan big cities. Um, so there is still a small town girl and I do understand the problems that they yeah. face. So let me play the devil's advocate. Okay. Devil is a man. Um, so what if I put to you that, therefore, a book like hers is a personal experience, it's authorship. But when it comes to something like journalism, it has to be professional. It should be person, caste, religion, gender agnostic to a certain extent. Its delivery should not uh, be uh, dependent on who is delivering it. Just like Pe Coke, Pepsi, Coke, McDonald's, wherever it is, there is a certain standard that you ex expect. Can we do something as media professional to ensure that? Yeah, please. You know, when I was uh, doing uh, the course in journalism, yes. uh, in the class of uh, 20 people, I was uh, the second girl. I mean, there were just two girls in the class and it was a small class. It was assumed by my professors that I would focus on women issues because i was yes. a woman yes. and because it was assumed and uh, the final year we were to present a paper uh, a research paper so it was assumed i would write something on women and just because it was assumed i yes. decided not to do that and i uh, did something uh, you know there was this uh, some financial scandal going on in Japan at that point. I'm forgetting what it was it's so many years ago. And the government had fallen. So I I decided to do the research on corruption and high places in, pol uh, in politics because I wanted to show that a woman should not be doing women's issues alone. Yeah. So as a result, in the final year, the only one woman took up a woman's issue as a research paper and all 19 papers were on non-women issues. Uh, uh, so no, no man decided to take on anything which had to do with women. 
when I joined the uh, newspaper, it was assumed that a woman should be relegated to soft subjects. Yes, yes. Uh, whether it's feature writing <laughs> yes. or women's yes. issue, yes. healthcare, fashion. I did all of that in my early years. And uh, because I had no choice, I mean, I was doing what I was asked to do. But because this stereotyping of certain issues had been made with a certain kind of uh, gender of the re reporter, uh, I was determined not to do that. Yes. As a result, I feel uh, instead of more men doing or, or talking about uh, women issues or issues yeah. which are of importance to women, fewer women are doing issues or which yeah. uh, talk of yeah. women yeah. Uh, because on Ribbon. So that is why I think our statistics speak yes. for themselves. The other thing I want to make a small point uh, taking from what Arfa was saying, uh, it is true that digital media is more democratic, but it is also true that digital media is, it has mass appeal. It, people are watching it on their uh, private uh, systems, you know, their iPads or their tablets or uh, television, uh, wherever. But the mass media is a still the media where which gets the maximum advertising from the corporate sector. And that media, unless the change happens there, uh, we can do anything in the digital media. News Minute is a very, very brave venture. I mean, Danya is an amazing person to do this, but uh, she doesn't have advertising. How long can it sustain? And ultimately, our entire media, we are changing wire uh, scroll. Yeah. Uh, they are changing the model, they're asking news laundry, they're asking the readers or the viewers to pay for the news yeah, they want to see. Yeah, but it's still just the tip, you know, it's just the froth on the uh, on the sea. Uh, it, this is not uh, the real media which is actually reaching out yeah. everywhere at every corner. It's almost like farming, isn't it, Ghazala? I mean, women do all the work, but wherever money comes in, machines come in, it's the men. It's a man. Uh, yeah, the market facing activities yeah. are always the men, no? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think uh, ownership issues will always be there, as Ghazala said. But interesting that you said that if a woman is reporting on women's issues, then there will be lack of objectivity. It no, 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 no. I mean, it's perceived. Was, no, no, it's no, perceived, no. you said. Uh, no, no, that no. why should people be telling their personal stories? It has to be objective. You have to distance yourself from the subject that you are covering, right? All these things we were taught in the in the journalism class. I think with the change in politics and society, the definition of journalism also has to change. Every day when I'm attacked on social media, yes. it is of course for my work, but this is also for my identity as a Muslim woman. I would say 90% of the abuses and attacks that come my way, 95 maybe, they come because I am a I'm an outspoken vocal Muslim woman who's unapologetic about her identity. So am I supposed to be speaking from a place which is just 5% of that whole identity of a journalist who's supposed to be professional, distancing herself from the subject that she's covering? Trust me, in 2022, I am the story and I'm also the storyteller. Yes. And I'm not saying this with with a smile on my face, this is what it's, it, it's a it huge comes burden. down to me. It's yeah, a right? huge burden. Right. Yes. It is a burden on me. Yes. That all the time I have to really, and remember the principles of journalism, not that I will forget them and become an activist. So that is why I would say the lines of being journalist and activist, they are also getting blurred. What is professional? What is personal? That is getting blurred. Because why I'm attacked, why my work is attacked, even right now, I'm not going to name it. There are two um, police handles uh, which are saying that we are taking action against one of your whatever tweets, whatever. So that's not because they are attacking my work. What I tweeted was tweeted by maybe 100 other people, but they chose me because they want to set an example because of my religious identity. So what I'm trying to say is that 20 years ago, what I was taught in my journalism class and what I am doing as a practicing journalist today in today's India are two different things. Um, so if I am being attacked for being who I am, I will sometimes, if not every time, will come back and react it's as very, who I am and who I'm attacked yeah. as. It's, it's, um, it's much more vicious. 
uh, today's uh, it's personal the, yeah it's, it's personal yeah. all the time it's personal it's i just wish vicious. sometimes they forget who i am and and really talk about the issues that i'm going to talk about yeah. like i did not join journalism to talk about how many people are being attacked every day lynched every day dying every day i thought i will be talking about public health universal education universal health women's rights gender equality environment issues uh, you know social justice uh, constitutionalism i thought i will be discussing all of this i did not think that i will be wasting my you know these precious golden years in just every day just sitting in front of the camera and just repeating myself i think i, I think it will be unfair if i don't ask the next question to all of you and then uh, how do you prepare your students for something like this and then i want uh, yeah uh, i think uh, dr arfa my colleague has uh, said the good thing that why female are even fearing to go in this uh, media field because most of the girls who are coming uh, yeah. in the department they are having very fear from that their family are not eager to send their girls for jobs and then if this happens to dr arfa then you can imagine that what type of fear our new girls who are coming from very backward regions and uh, uh, very first generation you can say then they have a lot of stigma to choose their profession as a journalism as a, their career but still we have, our department has launched this course in 2004 and what we have seen gradually that still there are no girls one or except one or two really? but yeah but now the things are changing we have good numbers after 2010 and uh, there are you can say 20 to 25% are uh, female students so in the what's department the placement like placement is good right but the only problem is this that most of the news channels are asking girls to get the anchor ship not giving any oh uh, any <laughs> reporting or real journalism <laughs> and in print they are also working that but the fact is this the most of the news channels only uh, asking for news anchors who can be their uh, face value for their uh, tv channels and media houses but still most of the girls who are coming because the digital media has provided a good platform so slowly they are going to different channels also different pla digital platforms but if i just wanted to share there are two urdu channels uh, which is popular among the masses one is news 18 urdu and second one is z salam and there are other few channels like sahara z munsif and doordarshan but news 18 urdu if you see the figure there are hardly female uh, journalists only six are there out of 85 if you see the total desk people working behind the camera and the, in the ground only six female journalists are there and then in z salam only three are working as anchors and uh, out of 50 staff and the same thing if you go by other channels it is not more than that so the problem is this that this uh, women issues and how to solve the uh, representation of uh, your portrayal of muslim issues in a proper way uh, we uh, the department wanted to break that ice to get too much too too many too many of our students in the media so they can at least say what the community senses and what are their feelings because most of the time media houses what they are lying they are basically they are focusing on crime and then controversy and crisis actual then uh, based on facts and that it, journalistic integrity and objectivity they are not focusing but if we send good number of students female students in this noble field i think the 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 perception and the situation may, may might be change because these girls if we go there and put the what the community thinks and what is their views what the community uh, have the mindset then i think the real pictures emerge because most of the time what we see in the like any case now all the cases related to minorities if you say see the hijab then talaq or any issue it is only that they are just trivializing the things and raising the issue unnecessary 
and most of the panelists which, which are being called as on tv debates even male or female they are not true representatives of the minority community and the problem lies there because the whole thing is portrayed negatively because we don't we don't we, we are not able to have a tie up with the uh, mainstream channels where we can send some good people who can argue and debate and have a discourse meaningful discourse then i think even the journalists and people from the minority community even even marginalized community get the space to fill the vacuum then i think the pictures may be slowly yeah. it may be we may yeah. solve the problem because yeah. still the media has not get proper representation for the other major major that the majority community because most of them are just focusing yeah. not on real issues like health education child and their problems they are Uh, just focusing on different issues which gives the trp and get uh, gets eyeballs so for them so what i hear loud and clear here from you is that there's a lot of fear uh, yeah. of parents letting them yes. and and i think and one uh, fear is also see most of the girls are thinking that after their marriage they are not able to get uh, freedom to get uh, to allow to do their jobs and somehow this is reality yeah. one of the parent came that if our girls complete this jobs and do uh, get some job he may not be uh, nobody is ready to marry my girl right yeah, i said I this is that not the case yeah. question, uh, that remains a question that remains a yeah issue with i think many communities and most women in india and maybe uh, but this